31, I had a question coming out of section 9.4, number 21. And here we were fa asked to find the first, uh, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. So when it says something like sum, and then we see sum of geometric sequence. When we hear sum of a sequence, that's really asking us to talk about a geometric series. Because that's what a series is. A series is a sum of a sequence. And anytime I have a geometric sequence or series, um, I always think good numbers to know. I like to know a sub 1, and I'd like to know the common ratio. Those are always good to know. So if I wanted to find a sub 1, I would look at my sequence over here, and I would let a equal 1. So in this case, I would do 64 times 0.2 to the 1 minus 1. And that would be 64 times 0.2 to the 0, which would just be 64, because anything raised to the 0th power is just 1. And then in terms of r, well, when we're looking at a geometric, either sequence or series, but you have this power, you always want to look at your base. So in this case, my base is 0.2, so that would be my r value. Great. And when I want to find a sum, all right, in this case, it's a partial sum, because if I look at the top index there, it says, hey, add 11 of these terms together. So if I want to find S sub 11, I'm going to use that S sub n geometric series formula. And I'm going to plug in n being 11, and I'll put the 11 here, right? And then I'll plug a sub 1 being 64. I'll put the 64 here. And then for r being 0.2, I'll put that here and here. And you can see me crunching that number, right? And then when I get done, I find that if I added the first 80, excuse me, if I added the first 11 terms of my sequence, right? So again, adding terms means you're looking at a series. It would add up to 80. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.